J Drone here. This is what it is. New controller, B Whoop, Fat Shark goggles, and we are going to be running this battery in this. Let's go. All right, guys. So here we go. So this first clip is actually one of the last clips. It took me a little while to figure out how to fly this thing again. So right here, we're going to basically chase my son around in uh, this little complex here, kind of play a little tag with him and whatnot, just to uh, hone my skills on the sticks. It's been quite some time. But as you can see, I'm finessing through this area fairly well. We will take it out that window and we will just give it a little bit of range out there. But this drone's extremely small and it has brushed motors and it's extremely windy outside. Bam, we found him again. Almost clipped his ear. He's like, what? We're going to go back. Allow him time to hide. And then come back and try to find him. Uh, all in all, this battery did pretty well. It's 450 milliamp an hour battery. A 500 milliamp an hour battery definitely would do this a little bit more justice. And a brand new battery would do it justice. This battery isn't brand new. So uh, let's see who we see out here. Bam! Found him. Again, we will fly out and off that balcony. Uh, kind of not give an extreme range run on this controller, but uh, just take it out to take it out to make sure we weren't going to lose any type of connectivity issues. Now, where did he go? Bam, we seen him. This time we're, nope, we will smoke him. I am going to just get him. Yeah, <laughs> not that time. Um, again, just cruising around in here. It's been some time. If you if you haven't played on the sticks in a while, here it is. Bam, got him. Um, it will take you some time to get back to where you were. Uh, like I said, I can't even tell you the last time that I've flown FPV. As you can see, you were able to see I am blinking now. This was towards the end of the flight. Here was actually the clip before the one that I just showed you. You saw my son waving on the couch. We are going to take it out here. Uh, there were people down below. You can kind of see them down below getting out of that car that were extremely fascinated with this drone. It's a small drone. It has bright LEDs, red and blue LEDs. You can see we're out here a little bit. The wind started to grab it. I was worried. I was not sure that I was going to get this back. The wind definitely started to grab it. Um, Testament to this drone, though, uh, we're definitely dealing with like a 12 to 13 mile an hour coastal winds and who knows about the gusts. But this thing made it back, as you can see here. It definitely made it back. We almost made it back inside, uh, but not quite. And these next two clips are me trying to get my bearings back. Uh, these these were actually the first clips. This was J Drone putting on goggles for the first time in a long time trying to get my bearings back uh it's definitely a muscle memory type thing and like with lifting weights you could lift weights for a year straight and stop for a year and then try to go back to it you're not going to be back at what you were initially a year ago um so you definitely need to stay on the sticks as far as this controller goes this controller is excellent i absolutely love it uh i'm not a real big fan of small controllers but i'm liking this one a lot it feels good in my hands uh, the hall gimbals on it feel very nice uh as far as the open tx goes i learn open tx i would prefer deviation you can see me bouncing all around this was actually the first first clip uh so the one that you watched prior to this was uh the second clip um so you can see i'm super sketchy on this one hitting stuff and whatnot but uh as far as the controller goes i'm gonna sign off on a controller uh as far as uh, like a whoop style drone goes it's definitely gonna work for you it's definitely gonna be awesome for you we will do a range test on like a bugs three or something in the near future if you haven't subscribed please do so check you on the next video